Hello everybody. Um, this is a video on how to create a new article on the UUCM website. The first thing I'm doing is I'm going to go to the UUCM website by entering our URL www.uucm.ca and then I'm going to log in. I'm first entering my username which is Susan and then my password which is a secret. If I don't have a username and a password, then I'm going to create a new account. Um, click on that and you'll follow the instructions to create an account. I have my account, so I'm going to log in now. Here I am in the logged in portion of the web page. Okay, now that I've logged in to the website, I am going to go ahead and submit a new article. Uh, so I click on submit an article and wait uh, for the article form to uh, appear. So just be patient. Now my form has arrived and I'm going to create the title of my article. So my event is the cookie and craft night. I'm putting the Cookie and Craft Night into the um, title and I'm going to create the alias which is Cookie Night. Cookie and Craft Night will be the title in the article when you read it on the web page. Cookie Night will be the URL. So the URL for Cookie and Craft Night will be www.uucm.ca slash cookie night. Then I'm going to go ahead and insert all of the text that I need in my article. Okay, so all my text has been entered just as if I was in a Word document. But what I want to do next is to add a contact email. It's very easy to add an email. Um, I'm going to make the contact person for craft night, Pam. So I'll enter her email, Pamela at uucm.ca. It could be any email address that we're going to enter there. The next thing I want to do is to make my article more exciting. So I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to click on image, which will bring up the image dialog box. I can now browse my computer to find an image anywhere in um, my own documents files. So I'll go ahead and search for the image I want to insert. Okay, so now I've clicked on Browse and I can find my image in my picture gallery on my own computer. There, magically, I have an image for Craft Night. So I'm going to select it and I'm going to Open. And now I'm going to Start Upload. And I just need to give the computer a minute here to upload the picture. And then I can scroll down and find the image under the name that I gave it. I gave it the name Craft Night, so I'm going to scroll down. Oh, and there is my Craft Night image. So I'm going to insert this image. Now I'm going to play around a bit while I edit the, the page to improve its appearance. The first thing I'm going to do is change the alignment of the text to the photo. This means that all the text will be to um, the left of my image. I want my image to be higher on the page and I'm having a hard time moving it around. So one thing that is always helpful to do um, is to expand the screen so that I have a little more room to play around. Now I'm going to pick up my image and drop it where I want it to be. I find it helpful to keep the uh, page ultimately the size of the article as it's going to be at the end, um, which is within the frame uh, that we have. Uh, so this is the frame. Now I've changed the size of my image by just resizing it. I've changed the alignment of my text um, by clicking on the alignment button. Um, I want to make my header to be a little more exciting. I'm not going to change the font. I am going to change the size of my top line. We are not going to be changing the font in our articles for the website. 
So there it is. I've got my text looking how I'd like it to be. Next, I need to categorize the website, the article, so I know where it's going to show up in the website menus. This is an announcement about the craft night, so I'll put, I'll categorize this event under the announcements. I'm giving it my own author's name. It is to be published. It's not to be featured, so it's not going to show up on the front page. Um, and then I'm going to start publishing today, and I'm going to finish publishing the day after, um, a couple of days after the event. So there is all the information that I need for my uh, page, and I'm going to save the article. Now the article um, will show up when I'm logged in as myself under the category where I placed it. Uh, so if I go to announcements, there is the article that I created. Now it's important to note that if you log out, you won't be able to see the article until someone has approved the publishing. Okay, a few things to note about the web page. When you're article, uh, editing your article, you may or may not have access to set and end your publish dates. If you don't have access to the date portion, the publish date portion of the article um, creation form, don't worry. The publisher, either Tisa or Anthony, will set the publish dates for you. Um, you may read your article and realize that you've made an error and wish to edit it. It's fairly straightforward to edit the article. Um, it basically, uh, you need to click on the small pencil in the corner, uh, click on this, and it will take you back to the web form so that you can edit the article. If you don't see a pencil, you may see a lock. A lock means someone else created the article. So here I am back at the same form. It's exactly the same as if I've created a new article. I can change whatever I want and then save and you'll see your, your changes again. If you do see a lock there, that means someone else has created the article and you don't have access to edit it. In that case, you may have to simply create a new article and um, advise the webmaster or TISA that there's an updated um, item on the web page. You can email uh, the webmaster at webmaster at uucm.ca and uh, all the uh, publications will take place. Each uh, section of the web page is set up as a blog, so there's a series of articles. You won't be able to change the um, order of the articles. That is for the webmaster or TISA to determine. You will uh, simply see the newest articles are always going to be at the top of the uh, 